if you use Facebook conversion API, um, you have to watch this video because there is a potential problem that I want to explain. Um, it can happen with some uh, cache plugins and uh, with some settings of some cache plugins. First of all, when you use conversion API, every event is sent twice, once using the browser and once using um, the conversion API. This is very good because it helps if the browser event is not working for some reason, like uh, an ad blocker or privacy settings. But uh, as you can see, you have two events for the same action. In order to deduplicate these events, we now have a new event parameter. It's called event ID. So every uh, pair of events has a unique ID, the browser event and the server side event. This, help, this helps to deduplicate events so the stats are correct, are not uh, recorded twice. Uh, this is not uh, a problem most of the times, but I noticed that on some websites, um, cache plugins can create a problem and they store the, the code for the event and they serve the same event ID when the page is reloaded by a different user or by the same user. So, of course, this creates a problem because Facebook thinks that um, they don't get a new event, but the same old one. So they don't uh, record track this new event. How to check if you have this problem? It's very, very simple and I'm going to show you. Open your website in an incognito window because um, cache um, behaves differently for logged in users um, if you have a, a, a cache in your browser and it's better to test in an incognito window. Use Pixel Helper to look for the event ID, for example, open this, ID, this event and look for this parameter, event ID. Try to remember it, not exactly, but and refresh the page. Okay, check again. No, this is the event and it's different. So in my case, I don't have the problem. If you notice that is the same event ID, you have this uh, issue with your cache. The thing is that I don't know to tell you what to do because in reality, I was never able to replicate this problem. I tested with various cache plugins I turn on all their caching options, everything, and yet I didn't get the problem. But I know that some user had this issue in the past. Now, it's usually your uh, cache plugin, but it can be some um, cache on the server or uh, something else. So if you have this problem, you must uh, check how your cache is configured Maybe you can contact your um, cache plugin support and ask them for a solution. Anyway, it's not good to have this uh, event ID uh, identical if you refresh the page. It should be a unique uh, ID. So open your website in an incognito window, look for the event ID, refresh the page, if it's the same ID, look into your cache settings and try to understand why this is happening.